just when you think that you've reached the bottom of the barrel, you find a hidden compartment underneath that barrel that reveals another barrel. Welcome to Street Fighter Real Battle on Film for the PlayStation. This is not the arcade version of Street Fighter the movie The Game. This is an entirely new version of a video game based off the Street Fighter movie. What we have here is a game that is built off the back of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. With sprites and animations Round, redone Fight. by Capcom themselves. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. I have the little configuration thingy to do. Isn't that nice that you could pause the game and reconfigure your buttons? There we go. That's what we want. So we have a few things to talk about with this game. Namely, Capcom took some of the work Incredible Technologies did with the digitized actors, made a few sprites of their own. And yeah, this, this very much plays like Super Turbo. With the exception of our OC Sawada here. He's got things like teleports, somersault kicks. He's a less interesting guile. You win. Even playing this, I can't believe this version exists. It hadn't quite hit Capcom just yet that the movie Street Fighter was such a flop was such a was such a toxic property that nobody wanted to touch it at the time but they still put out a home version of it and it's not just a port that blows my mind It even includes characters that weren't in the arcade version because they, the team at Incredible Technologies did not have time to finish those characters. Get them ready for prime time. Round one. We'll definitely be seeing one of those characters in this street battle. So, here's the unique thing about this game. When you have a full super bar, you can use EX moves. Certain special moves become super powered if you use two attack buttons instead of one to input them. So in the case of Bison, we have EX Scissors, where he does one double knee scissors and then a slide afterwards. There's sort of the halfway point between supers and special moves. Sadly, there is no EX Psycho Crusher. Because I could really benefit from that. You win. This game. This game has such a feeling of, this wasn't meant for Sony PlayStation or Sega Saturn. This was meant for 3DO. This was meant for Atari Jaguar. This was meant for Philips CDI. It's one of those games where 
it's very clear that Japanese companies saw live action as the new hot graphical style for video games. There are a few obscure fighters on PlayStation that carry this notation. Do yourself a favor and don't look up a game called Twin Goddesses if you want to see this at its full potential. Live action meets animation potential. By the way, yes, Bison is worse than he's ever been. His punches feel like they have little to no range. There's your sun animation. Exploding life bars? Nah, none of that. That's not as cool. Sumo headbutt beating Psycho Crusher is a tradition. I really should know better. I had to say, for all the fighting games getting either re-released, all the franchises getting reborn, or seeing new life, you're not getting that for Street Fighter the movie, no. Your movie, at most, gets played on cable television every once in a while. Hey! Super is still projectile invulnerable. You win. Also, you gain super much faster in this game than you do super turbo. So that's nice. There are Dizzies as well, but they're notably rare considering the character I'm playing. Unless I get really aggressive, you're not going to be seeing them. There we go. Honestly, since I'm playing as Bison, shouldn't Guile be farther down the arcade ladder? Now, oh, whatever. Let's kill Colonel Guile now. Round one. Fight. Let's end the insurgence of the AN. Let's do it.
Of course, I know what you're thinking. You're playing Super Turbo. That means the AI is going to be relentless. You win. In a practice run I've done for this game... This is normal difficulty, by the way. In a practice run I've done with this game, the AI doesn't seem to be as spiteful. I mean, yeah, they punish appropriately, but it's not as oppressive as playing Super Turbo is. Super Turbo is a brand new world. There we are. You win. Not even getting into the sprites. So I'm calling them sprites at this point. Not even getting into the sprites that seem like not only are they incredibly shitty looking compared to the arcade version, but they really seem to shrink in size. Which is a detail that you have to try to ignore. I mean, I, for one, still indulge in the Street Fighter movie. It is a guilty pleasure. It is a bad film. But it's a so bad, it's good film. Anyone who can't laugh at the notable quotables of Street Fighter the movie, uh, Bison Dollar, Tuesday, You've Lost Your Balls, Change the Channel. Anyone who can't laugh at that, it's not a Street Fighter fan. Or at least didn't grow up in the 90s. You gotta love Reversal Super. And it being Bison's only good reversal option. Good times. I would like to note, most of the fancy moves that were in the arcade version of the game are not here. No Sagat Eye Laser, no Chun-Li Bird Projectile, no Guile Handcuffs, none of that stuff. You win. So, anyone curious why Bison is not showing his Palpatine hands in the console version is because he can't. If you want to get technical, I consider this pre-Palpatine. Because remember, he has to nearly die to achieve that electrical capability. Oh, there he is. It's shitty wig. It's a horrible makeup. Yeah, Blanca was not in the arcade version, despite him being a pivotal character in the movie. There was just no time to finish up the work they did on Blanca. But he's here. Electrics have a new animation to them, new effects, but Blanca still works the same way otherwise. I tried to charge my super again. So yeah, there is one element of strategy that is not here in Super Turbo. Getting to Super as fast as possible, utilizing your EX moves whenever possible. Yeah. 
There we are. You win. Just had to call your bluff, Blanca. Round three. Fight. As for the music itself, I haven't even commented on the music. The music is wholly original tracks. A, they're not that memorable. B, they have the feeling of a Hollywood version of Street Fighter. They sound like all kinds of different Capcom properties. Also, God bless the autocorrection of Blanca Super backfiring on him. And hey, there's your Dr. Dalsim on the right, I guess? No, definitely not. There's no way. Dalsim doesn't exist in these games. And the world is a better place for that. I would like to point out, as of this recording, I have first be become beholden to what Street Fighter 6 looks like. Not what it plays like. I haven't gotten my hands on it at this moment. But what it looks like. That was a good time. That game has a lot of positive reception around it. And to go back to this. So, once again, Bison versus Shoto. Bad matchup for Bison. Always has been. Oh my god, I couldn't even punish. That super is entirely invincible. You lose. I shouldn't got I should have gotten stuffed from the dragon punch. Round two. All right. Fight. I see. Oh my god, that's Ryu's forward heavy punch. Capcom, why did you even bother? There we are. You win. Round three. Fight. Hadouken. 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 Like, note there, Ryu threw two fireballs at once. Oh, this is a kind of rough. I'll take that trade. And yes, you aren't seeing things. Attacks do do less damage in general. That makes fights longer, and it means you have to play the game longer. Nothing but happiness follows. Speaking of happiness, we're already at the four Grand Kings. And they may be in a different 
order than you've come to expect. Heck, they may be different characters than you've come to expect. Is Zangief now bad guy? Don't question it. This is the point where the AI starts getting a little bit wiser. Ow! I had to try it. You and your defense. You and your inability to dislike getting hit by normals. Oh, I don't like being in the corner that way. Oh my god, Zangief! Never give up. Never surrender. So yeah, we're still being bison. Of course we are. Bison versus Zangia. Of course we're gonna play as not Raul Julia. We can do this. A heck of a mountain to climb, but Round we'll one. keep climbing. Fight. Uh uh, I just want to attack you without worrying about getting 360'd. Oh god forbid, god forbid whip throws be punishable. Attack! That damage is so fucking pathetic. You win. For what is supposed to be a super combo, it's not very super. And there's no option to adjust damage parameters. This isn't Sega.
Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. That's what you get. This is what happens when you don't play footsies. With a computer that knows everything. I'm trying to move, but it's impossible. Just fucking God! Die! What was that about having fun? Wanna get back to the game? Oh my god. God for fucking bid, moves come out when I order them to. Fucking cheater. It's like you just, just, just crawl every inch. You don't feel like you're winning. You feel like you're surviving. Why does that do so much goddamn damage? I swear to God! I just want to hit you! Nope! I had a good time with this in the practice run, but now the game decides to be an asshole. Story of my life. Nope. Shit damage for a shit game. You win. That's what blows my mind. Three, You're based off Super Turbo, but you decide to make Super Turbo shitty. God forbid shit be punishable in this game. The only thing that gets punished is you. Nope. I can't play this fucking game. <laughs> I can't deal with a computer that not only blocks your perfect attacks, but takes away a third of your life for even daring to press a button. For all 
I know the rest of this run is a cakewalk. Which, judging by the opponents we have after Zangief, if we even get there... Cakewalk is not exactly the word I would use. Here we go, here comes the pulling teeth part. You win. Round two, fight. the double lariat so infrequently you just forget it exists. There we fucking go! So here's a character you weren't expecting to be far to part of part of part of the great kings. You gotta love how sinister DJ is in his static portrait, but the second he gets animated, he's all smiles and yeah and rhythm. Ooh. Ooh. Round one. Fight. I had a bit of trouble with DJ on my practice run, so... Hopefully he's a bit more merciful. But DJ's got both range and decent move properties on him. And not to mention, his EX means he can throw two projectiles, which is standard. But for DJ, it's even more of a nightmare. Because remember, DJ is a charge character. That means he has little to no recovery on his fireball. Oh man, that psycho getting stuffed is just demoralizing, depressing, everything that starts with D. Disgusting. God damn, I spoke way too soon. Even charge times feel different. I can't count how many times my Psycho Crushers have just not happened. Not to mention Head Press. Yes, yes, move on. Thank you. 
Hey, look, it's that character who barely fights in the movie. So yeah, Sagat is Sagat. Just had to wait for the right time for him to throw a fireball. I love that this fight takes fight. place in Bison's master bedroom. <laughs> oh, oh, this is just bad positioning on my part. God. Predictable as always. You win. Okay, we have clearly chilled. We have clearly cooled off. Our body temperature has gone down to normal levels. Now we have to fight ourselves. Also, could you not flip the portrait so that the two bisons are facing each other? Was that too much to ask, Capcom? I guess it was. Because you know what? You did it in Super Turbo. We're fighting Shadow Bison. Shadow Bison is very similar to your Bison. In that he is the exact same. The difference being we have absolutely no alternate colors. We just color them differently. It'll be fine. Oh boy. I can tell you're in a pissy mood. Also, you gotta love the music cutting out and then coming back on. Okay, just gotta do that one more time. No big deal. Keep him at bay. Kick him out. I was gonna do super. There we go. You win. So that is Street Fighter Real Battle on film for the PlayStation. Done. Thank God. Who knew Zangief was the real boss all along?
Don't mind me. I'm just going to type out what this game actually is. Thank God they give me four characters for the name. It's like Capcom shouldn't have even bothered with this one. Nobody was clamoring for a Street Fighter the movie video game. People weren't even clamoring to see Street Fighter the movie. I will say, it is slightly better than the arcade version. The arcade version is jank that doesn't even resemble anything Street Fighter. At least this game plays like Street Fighter. Still doesn't mean that it's a good game. It just means that it's a better Street Fighter. Now we gotta move on to something more important, which is Alpha 2, thank god. I can't wait to play that again. It's like, a sec. I'm playing Alpha 2 next, right? I, I can just play the console version? Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I have it on PlayStation if you want me to... Well, okay. I'll get the Saturn version, and why are you shaking your head? Oh, no. 